Welcome back, everyone, and I'm here again with SBR contributor Jeff Grant. And today we're going to be talking about that NFL game between the New England Patriots and the San Diego Chargers. How are you doing today, man? Doing fantastic, Dax. How can you not be excited about handicapping a game with two of the AFC's best teams? And, of course, you have the Patriots coming off that loss against Green Bay, while San Diego, an improbable victory at Baltimore. So this is a very exciting game to match uh, to handicap. Yeah, man, and what a fucking game. It was awesome against the Patriots and the Packers, but New England did have their seven-game winning streak, uh, streak snapped after that one. Though I, I am kind of sure that Tom Brady and the Patriots are going to bounce back after that loss, you know, as they head into Qualcomm Stadium. But what do you think, Jeff? There's a lot of statistics stating the fact that the Patriots are definitely worthwhile road favorites in this matchup because you look the Patriots are 5-0 and when Brady matches up with Rivers in his career. You also look at the fact that Brady is 37-8 and following a loss over the course of his career. And then finally, in the Brady stats, you have a 45-7 and record in the month of December. That's the best in all of football. Four of those seven losses have taken place in Miami. You know the Patriots always struggle when heading to South Beach. They already lost their this year in September. So I think Brady's glad that he's not traveling to Miami during this particular month. It's also important to point out that the Patriots, after that loss against Green Bay, flew directly to San Diego. But of course, they're going to be taking on a quarterback in Phillip Rivers, who has a 30 and six record in the month of December. Yeah, well, the, also the, the interesting fact here is that San Diego, they kind of started the season strong, and then they lost their magic, but then they started to pick up their game once again. Now, that happened once they actually got uh, Ryan Matthews back on the field. Three-game winning streak so far since he's actually started. Now, how important is it for the Chargers to stick with that run game in this AFC matchup, Jeff? I'm a big fan of Phillip Rivers, but it's proven in his statistics against Patriots and matching up with Bill Belichick that the Chargers need to run the football. Rivers... In those five losses that I mentioned against Brady Dax, five touchdowns versus eight interceptions, a passer rating of 73.4. What's the formula under second-year head coach Mike McCoy is running the football. He has his major weapon back. And Ryan Matthews, who has ran for 215 combined yards during that three-game win streak. And the most important statistic in this entire football game, in my opinion, is who is going to win the time of possession battle. The Patriots are doing... A good job of running the football once again. They got LeGarrett Blunt back after the Steelers dropped him, so they gained him back. He was pivotal in the Patriots' run last year to the playoffs. And then you look at Matthews and the fact of his running game. And with Mike McCoy as head coach, the Chargers are 15-4 and four when winning the time of possession, 2-7 and seven when losing it. So it really comes down to which team will run the football best. Yeah, and I think uh, Brandon Oliver is probably going to get into the mix as well because they're probably going to do a little bit of tandem work with him and Ryan Matthews. But anyways, I mean, what are you looking at this one? Uh, should we go uh, take the Patriots just because, you know, they're the better team right now? When I see two quarterbacks to this level and the public loving to bet the over in that situation, but seeing the fact that both these teams are at their best when they get that running game going and controlling the game from an offensive standpoint, I look directly to the under in that situation. And there's some trends that back this up. The Patriots, the last two plus seasons, the under is five and two on the road when playing with a betting total of 49 and a half or higher. While you flip it on the other side, the under is three and oh in the Chargers games at home with a total of 49 and a half or higher in the same span. So I'm gonna go under the total on Sunday night. All right, good stuff, Jeff. Thanks once again for all the valuable insights, man. And we'll talk some more football again tomorrow. Thank you. No problem for SBR Picks. This is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round. A real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.